that I started out as uh, my shop, my woodworking shop, but then it switched into an art gallery as well, and uh, the art gallery is bigger than the shop these days. Well, it's uh, like I said, because of the art gallery, it's becoming a little harder to work. I'm running out of space quickly. Um, the art studio is the way, it's my job. I make things uh, from furniture to computer leather bags, iPad bags to sculptures to anything I can think of. I started doing woodwork um, because my father used to do it and I kind of just learned by watching him. So I took over and started my wood shop here. But I'm going to do really anything from working in leather to many other things that I can think of. I just like to make stuff. And most recently I just finished a sculpture. It's made out of an old camera and just a bunch of old things. Uh, well, it's um, kind of an exploded view of a camera. I'm not going to tell you what it means because I think you can take it quite a few ways. But um, it's just took the camera apart and I had hundreds of pieces to put on little wires and make it kind of look like it's exploded. <laughs> The gallery is um, just kind of something for the people of Bowling Green um, because there doesn't seem to be that much of uh, that sort of entertainment in this town. And I think it needs it because, you know, it's a university town. It should have quite a selection. of eager to get back to woodwork but it's we have a ceramics wheel and uh, my friends come here to paint as well so it's kind of like an art studio in Bowling Green but my goal is to just try to be more open to the public as I am now because I'm concentrating on the studio part so I would like to put more shows music shows uh, more art shows and well, pretty much any cultural type of entertainment.